Resistance to U.S. President Donald Trump's zero-tolerance policy on migration is mounting. Hundreds of primarily female protesters occupied the Senate building on Thursday to voice opposition to the Trump administration's stance on illegal immigration. I'm here to just show my support for these protesters who are speaking up for true American values. We're not a nation that rips families apart and puts children in cages, and we can do better than that. Um, and I call, I join them in calling on the Trump administration to reunite these families, get these kids back to their parents. Members of the Women's March, the movement that began shortly after Trump's inauguration, called on women to risk arrest. And their call was answered. Police confiscated the protesters' blankets before arresting hundreds of them to the cheers of fellow demonstrators. No hate! No fear! Before occupying the Senate building, thousands of protesters marched in the streets of the U.S. Capitol to decry the separation of migrant families. We are here today because we are in a very dangerous moment. The Trump administration, Trump himself, is showing exactly the extent of his cruelty. The so-called zero tolerance policy led to the separation of more than 2,000 children from their parents at the border between the United States and Mexico. Despite the president's executive order suspending the practice, a majority of the children separated from their parents have not yet been reunited with them. Larger demonstrations against the administration's immigration policy have been planned for Saturday in Washington, with protesters uniting under the hashtag, families belong together.